Well, hello, fellow door dashers and people that are considering being a door dasher. If you click on the link below, uh, you'll get a cool cash reward for signing up with DoorDash. Anyway, um, today let's talk about what is DoorDash Drive? What is that? Well, it, basically what it is, is it's like catering a banquet. And it's a much, much, much larger order. And uh, you have to be there early. Like 30 minutes early is real good, if not before. And um, be ready to accept the order. And you have to have plenty of hot bags um, to move it because it can be a very, very large order. And you will be bringing the hot bags in to pick up the order. It's not one of those things like a lot of you folks that like to just run in and grab the food and not use hot bag and all that. It's not going to happen because a restaurant will turn you away and they'll call another driver. So, um, and then it just gets a cheaper rate for just a regular driver. It's a higher rate for the DoorDash drive because you get paid a higher fee to begin with. And then depending if you're fast, you get a bonus. And if you have to take tow bridges, you get paid for that. And um, you get a reward in the end, uh, a, a tip, which comes from either the restaurant that you're doing the banquet for or the customer who has ordered it. So um, it's really important to make sure to bring your hot bags in. And that's in real life. That's when you're doing your regular runs because as soon as the restaurant reports you for not bringing that bag and the customer calls and complains that the food was cold and nasty, you're finished. So got to have hot bags. And when you're doing these big banquet deliveries, you've got to have a lot of hot bags and coolers and things. So um, you better be prepared if you're going to sign up for that. So, um, the money's great. You can do four or five orders in a day in the, in the DoorDash drive and make bank. Um, so, uh, here we go. All right. First of all, just to give you a basic idea of what you got to do. qualify is you got to get really high ratings have the proper vehicle have a record of almost 200 deliveries watch your email read and fill out the form when you get it submit it and go to the meeting at your local DoorDash office and um, because DoorDash is opening in so many cities across states we're in 3,000 cities right now across the the states and 50 states plus Canada and um, still opening more and so they're still trying to get the offices located for all the areas instead of regional offices they're trying to get offices in in you know the big city areas for each location and yes they're still hiring so if you're looking for a job that will be the one for you um, the office is kind of cool because you get to go in and buy extra merch and um, after you do so many deliveries, you qualify for some free merchandise. So, anyway. Okay. Well, what is DoorDash Drive? Okay. Um, restaurants use DoorDash to request a dasher to deliver orders to their customers directly. Um, so, they can be a regular size order or a very large catering order. Um... And, uh, uh, you know, when you go to do that order, you, you may be asked to, you know, set it up a little bit um, by the customer or the restaurant. And, and you know, you just ask them what you'd like, they'd like you to do. Um, you say, well, uh, um, uh, where would you like me to put this? And if they say, okay, I need you to set it up over there, you know, nice and pretty by the, by the little flowers and all that then that's what you will do 
Like they tell you to open the products, but you'll open the products. Otherwise, usually you just set the trays and stuff there with big spoons, whatever, whatever the restaurant gives you. And um, uh, you don't even have to check the order except for how many units is in the order when you pick it up from a restaurant um, because they're liable for the order. Um, they're just paying you to deliver it. And uh, um, you've got to have a lot of hot bags. Um, so, and I would definitely bring coolers with the frozen ice packs in them just in case. Because um, you never know, you might be taking a, um, doing a whole Baskin Robbins um, ice cream party for a child's birthday or something. Um, and uh, the way they pay is, is interesting. It's generally about $15 and up will be originally on the order. When you accept it, you won't know the other fee till after because the restaurant either gives that to you or the customer. And it could be, you know, the tips, most of the tips will go through the app first. But now you can also be cash tipped by the customer if you were really proper and polite and did what you were supposed to do and you were quick about it and and didn't drop any food or anything like that. Um, and you brought it in hot. You know, the hot stuff is hot, cold stuff is cold. Um, you can get your orders early, sometimes a day in advance, sometimes hours in advance. You can go ahead and claim them so they'll be in your schedule. And uh, uh, and that way, you know, you're ready to work it when it's time, if you're doing other runs around that. Um, generally, when it gets pretty close to the time, they won't send you any orders and you just have to deal with that one because they want you to be ready and there and everything and um, let's see the restaurants require that you must be equipped with at least two large insulated bags and we're talking large okay like pizza size large big bags deep bags um uh and if you don't come up with those bags when you're there, they'll just turn you away and they'll call for a regular dasher to come at a cheaper price to come move it. They'll just send you away and you lose. So anyway, um, then, uh, you know, when you see these orders on your app, there'll be a, a yellow bar on your app and I'll show that to you in a little bit. And when you accept that that order, um, you can read through first before you accept it and see where the location is. Usually it's not too far. And uh, see if you want to do it. You can look at how many items are in the order, how much the order is, and how much your pay is. Um, if you do not have a dash set, claiming a delivery opportunity will create a new dash for you to complete the claimed order. So you can't have any other dashes reserved in the time slot that you would be moving that particular order. It won't let you schedule it. And then you, you must sign in to your dash 15 minutes before pickup time to indicate that you will still be completing the delivery. If you don't sign in, the order will be reassigned and uh, um, The order must be unassigned at least two hours before pickup time. So if you can't make the order, you've got to at least cancel it two hours before pickup. And you can sign in from anywhere to do, you know, to uh, uh, claim a drive delivery. Reserve it, you know, for the next day or whatever it is, if it'll let you do it. Um, you don't have to be in the area. You could be wherever um okay let's see once you pick up the drive order um uh you'll go to the restaurant and there won't be as many details of exactly how much food it is it's usually done in units so you don't know exactly what you're supposed to have except for so many units so you want to confirm that with the restaurant 
um, because they know what they're supposed to give you. Um, just make sure you have the proper units. And um, I would be there at least 30 minutes before the order goes. Uh, because you get a bonus pay for that if you're early. But don't bug the heck out of the restaurant. And don't show your butt. Be decent. Um, and uh, you have to understand that the customers place the order with the restaurant, not DoorDash. So sometimes they won't, they won't even know to expect that you are coming to get the order, much less deliver it as a DoorDash rep. And uh, when you communicate, you're supposed to be saying that I'm delivering the order on behalf of this restaurant. And you've got to, uh, if you don't like texting the customer, it's the wrong job for you. Do not sign up for the banquet delivery. Because you've got to be in touch with this customer to find out where you need to park and where you're supposed to go and what you're supposed to do. So if you're not a texting individual, which that's what premium door dashers do, then don't even bother to sign up for uh, DoorDash Drive or accept it because it's not for you. Because banquet services, if you've ever worked at big hotels, which I've done that many times and had my own bars and restaurants, uh, it, everything has to be just right. They don't have time for fun and games and unprofessional people. And uh, if you don't contact this customer, then they're not sure if you're coming or not, and they get all upset, and they call the restaurant, and they throw a hissy fit. The restaurant's calling DoorDash. Um, so just, you know, if you can't text, don't do this job. You've got to, you know, get with the people. It's easier to text than it is to call because it's so hard to get off the phone. Um, it's much more simple. Just keep it simple. And... Um, you having trouble delivering it's the same as usual contact DoorDash and uh, they'll try to straighten it out um, but the quicker you pick it up and the quicker you get it delivered you get extra bonuses so um, you know do the best job you can if you can bring somebody with you um, so like an order will look like this okay I don't know if you can see it or not. Oop. If you could see this order, that's that's a sample order. You see that order there? Do we need that light on or? Can you see that? Mm hmm Okay, so there's a sample type order that you would receive. It tells you delivery time up on the left top corner. On the right corner is decline. And um, and then it says $1,600 subtotal guaranteed pay of 60 And then you can accept. Um, the orders will show up on the app just like normal orders unless they are claimed in advance. So if nobody claims the orders, they'll come up on the app, boom, just like that. And then you can look to see if there's any any uh, drive deliveries for that day. It'll be a, a yellow, there'll be a yellow bar down below your hours that you've scheduled. Um, and... Uh, then you can um, look below that and see what orders are available that you could accept. And you, you can go through it first and then you 
what you, when you accept, they call it claiming, the claiming order. So, and then, <coughs> let's see, like, there's one here that's $24 plus tips, and then it tells you how many minutes you were early, and all that, and my name of the customer, and the name of the business, um, that's like the notice you'll get. Okay, and then you'll get this this other notice that says um, drive and life kitchen pick up by 5:50 p.m. and then the customer's name. And so when you get up there, you tell them I'm here to pick up the banquet order for this person's name, and then the order details. It'll just say like eight items. Subtotal three hundred and sixty dollars and fifty cents, and um, that's just usually what it'll say because it's units, and you won't know exactly what is being shipped for the banquet. So all you have to do is just make sure you have all those units, and then um, slide after you you picked it up, and then uh, the pay varies depending on if the customer tipped, the restaurant tipped, or nobody tipped. Um, DoorDash will make up the difference. If you have to take a toll bridge, um, then it will credit you for that. Now, I don't know if it will credit you for parking fees, but those are also tax deductible if you get receipts. Make sure you get toll bridge receipts, and if you do parking, make sure you get receipts for that. Um, and, uh, um, but DoorDash will pay for your toll fees. Uh, long distance, um, you'll get additional earnings for deliveries that are longer than the average distance. The earnings for long distance deliveries will be more fair and consistent. You'll have all the information about the delivery earnings in the breakdown. And if that one qualifies for extra mileage and stuff. If it if if the delivery opportunity does not state up front that it qualifies for additional long distance earnings, it does not qualify. Now, um, the DoorDash Drive tip policy updated as of February of 2018. Customers will now only tip in advance rather than upon delivery. So, um, but I mean. That doesn't mean if you do a really killer job at the banquet, you don't get tipped cash. Because I know people that do. They get tipped on the app and cash. A buddy of mine delivered like 200 donuts and got tipped on the app. Plus paid like $30 to deliver it. And got a really sweet tip after that. Well worth this time. You don't have to present a paper receipt to the customer at all. Now the ones that, that that are ordering that the drive orders, the banquet orders, is the restaurants. They're the ones that are ordering it, not the customer. Because the customer is ordering from the restaurant, so the restaurant's using DoorDash as a delivery person. Let's see. Now, most of the orders are banquet orders, so you be, be ready to be unpacking your bags and setting up. Just ask them, you know. Okay, if you have any, any um, questions about your orders, where you've got to park or delivery or whatever, um, text that customer. If you have any problems delivering, text DoorDash. Get on live help with DoorDash. 
Now, okay. All right. Okay, now when you get the email, it will have a click on link. And the email is going to look kind of like this. Okay, and it'll say, welcome to DoorDash Drive. It'll ask your name, your email address, but it won't ask you your password. So, um, and then it'll have a questionnaire um, and also a video link that you can click on and watch that first. And then they want you to visit your local DoorDash office. Um so that you can uh, pick up your supplies and that and um, let's see. it'll say did I understand that orders are placed directly to the store not through doordash.com customers may not know that doordash is responsible for the deliveries um, Drive orders are often large catering deliveries. They benefit from special handling. Example, it's helpful to have several large bags on hand. Okay. Drive orders can be claimed up to a day in advance. You'll be able to see all the details. The drop-off time with the locations of the restaurant and the drop-off place. Okay, is this straight? And let's see. You can qualify for extra pay if you arrive on time to the store and customer. These bonuses can be found with the order details. Pay attention to the quoted times to increase your earning potential. So it has a bunch of things that it reviews with you. And then... You know, you you uh, commit to those. Then it'll ask you your address and your zip code, and you got to give them a legit one. And then they will send you some catering bags, DoorDash catering bags, because you earned them for doing so many deliveries. You earn those, um, and you don't have to buy them. Um, and then uh. Uh, it says, thank you for your interest in drive. You can start claiming drive deliveries as soon as your catering bag arrives. So, um, catering bags can be purchased just about anywhere, online, at stores, and whatever. So if you want to do it right away, do it right away before the other bags come. Um, you don't have to use DoorDash bags. Um, my first DoorDash bag, I think I used it one time. <laughs> I didn't even like it. I went and bought more expensive bags that keep the stuff really hot and really does well. And yes, most of my bags are red. Um, <laughs> now I've got some really incredible bags. I have bags and coolers. But anyway, so um, you'll submit uh, that, that questionnaire and thing uh, online and then go to your local DoorDash office and uh, meet with a the rep there and... They will um, explain to you how to do a banquet order and all that kind of thing, sort of like what I'm telling you. And you'll get your bag and all that and any other information that they'll send you. But please bear in mind that if you would like to qualify before you've even done enough orders and have enough um, ratings, high enough ratings to do so, Make sure to go on the DoorDash app as soon as you can and and uh, 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 click the help button 
and go in there and say the something else click on that and then it'll say you can uh, enter a, a report or letter or something click on that and then tell them I have a you know station wagon SUV van whichever it is that you drive um, if you need me to do the banquet deliveries and please note that on my account because they have to put that in there because they're not going to send you on a banquet delivery in a little tiny Toyota um, in order to qualify you have to have a station wagon SUV or van so make sure you send them an email right away before you get to like your 200th order on DoorDash so that they will consider you at ASAP um, and send you that magic email so that you are a qualifier otherwise they don't know and they're not going to do it unless you have a big enough vehicle for it and a proper vehicle so you need a station wagon an SUV or a van um, and it needs to be clean inside and out and don't smoke during your deliveries um, it would really make the, the restaurant owner mad if they see you loading stuff in the car and take off smoking a cigarette that would not be cool um, a lot of people are real offended by that especially when you get to the delivery place I wouldn't be having a cigarette burning not at all and make sure you're, you're dressed very nicely if you don't have DoorDash clothes then just dress very nice and decent so that you can you know deliver food because you might be walking in the middle of a wedding or whatever you don't want to go in there looking like a hoodlum and being nasty dirty chewing bubble gum and, and have a nasty mouth um, not cool so be professional handle the food very carefully put it or set it up nicely and neatly according to what the customer is asking you to do at the location they might say oh just you could just put it all over there it'd be fine or they'll say could you please set it up over there and just do whatever they say um, and don't be real loud and carrying on and acting stupid don't cuss just be adult enough to handle it professionally because it's all about those tips okay it's seriously all about those tips so um, try to be as proper as you can with the restaurant and the customer and uh, make sure to text in advance to the customer to find out exactly where you need to park they might have a loading dock they might you want you around the back of the building um, it could be at a school you need to know which way you're supposed to come in you know they might send people to help you unload so um, wouldn't that be nice so shoot that text you know make sure to keep in touch with that customer letting them know food is almost ready food is ready and then and uh, and then you know where would you like me to uh, uh, deliver to exactly is there a special room or something you know and they'll send you all that information and it'll be really nice and easy for you and what really helps is make sure you got a GPS a very nice Garmin GPS would be wonderful so that you can get there successfully without running your phone down and everything else because your phone is going to be running and sucking up battery while you're on this order uh, through and through and you want to make sure you have power or bring up a, a backup battery power and um, anyway that's how it's done and that's what it's all about and now you know the answers to what is DoorDash Drive and you have a really great day and thanks for joining me and throw a cool thumbs up if you learned something here and uh, if you are on DoorDash Drive, go ahead and comment down below and let us know how you like it. Uh, otherwise, um, I'll see you guys there. Love to you. Have a great one. Dash on.